assalamu alaikum in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about digestion of lipids an adult intake 60 to 150 gram of lipids per day among which 90% is triglycerol also known as fats the dietary lipids are in the form of triglycerides cholesterol ester and phospholipids which are the insoluble forms and needs to be solubilized for the digestion the lipids in the form of triglycerides cholesterol ester and phospholipids are insoluble and and cannot be absorbed and stored in the human body however digestive tract of human being contains certain enzymes which converts the insoluble form of lipids which are triglycerides cholesterol esters and phospholipids into a soluble form as we intake lipid diets through our mouth there will be no change in the mouth as the salivary gland as the salivary enzymes make no change in the food bolus containing phospholipids triglycerides and cholesterol ester as the food bolus containing triglycerides cholesterol ester and phospholipids reaches the stomach and its small intestine the digestion of lipids starts in stomach there is an enzyme gastric lipase which hydrolyzes short chain fatty acids which are very common in the diet of you which are very common in the diet of an infant Hence, the digestion of lipids in an infant starts in the stomach. However, short chain fatty acids are very much uncommon in the in an adult diet, so the digestion of lipids starts in the small intestine of an adult. The main digestion of lipids in an adult starts in the small intestine. As the food bolus reaches the small intestine. Emulsification starts. Emulsification is the process in which large lipid molecules are broken down into smaller fragments and later on the surface area of these smaller fragments of lipids increases which is a very, very beneficial process for the, for the enzymes to act on it. Larger the surface area of the small fragments of lipids, the more the enzymes can act on it. Afterwards, the digestion of lipids occurs with the help of pancreatic enzymes. In the small intestine, pancreas in the small intestine, pancreas secretes some enzymes which helps in the digestion of lipids. These enzymes are pancreatic lipase, cholesterol esterase, phospholipase A2. These enzymes perform different functions in the digestion of lipid which are the food bolus containing lipids in the form of triglycerides are solubilized and converted into monoacyclycerol and free fatty acids by the enzyme pancreatic lipase. The food bolus containing lipids in the form of cholesterol ester are solubilized and converted into cholesterol ester and free fatty acids by the enzyme cholesterol esterase and the phospholipids in the food bolus are solu are hydrolyzed and converted into lysophospholipids and free fatty acids by the enzyme phospholipase A2 the enzyme phospholipase A2 are secreted from the pancreas in an inactive form which is zymogen but later on it is activated by trypsin and acts on the phospholipids to convert it into lysophospholipids and free fatty acids this is all about digestion of lipids in which the insoluble form of dietary lipids triglycerides cholesterol ester and phospholipids becomes converted into a soluble form which are monoacyglycerol free fatty acids cholesterol ester and lysophospholipids and these soluble form of lipids are able to absorb and stored in the human body